see? Or murder, she wrote. You're in for a big surprise. This is perfect recall. <laughs> and barely sane audience. Hello, welcome to Perfect Recall. Did you know that everyone here has a super memory? Especially um, your man who, who does the lighting and um, the director yeah. and, and that lady who does the frocks. And of course, yours truly. Best memory of all. I'm just no good with names. <laughs> Over here, four more people. Equally excellent memories. Let's meet him. You're supposed to have a more than passing resemblance to Elvis Presley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, when I had my cybers grown out, and uh, over October, in October, I grew my hair out. I got my barber to shape my hair in the style of Elvis Presley. I had the white jumpsuit with the rhinestones and everything. <laughs> it's great. I'll bet you looked a million dollars, Rocky. I did, sir. And you're, you're a bartender. You do... Ah, I love cocktails. Didn't you like cocktails? Cocktails. Fantastic. What's, what's your favorite? What's the cocktail you do best? Uh, my best cocktail would be the Cosmopolitan. Uh, oh, I love a cosmopolitan. That's the old cranberry juice. Yes, sir. I'm beginning to dribble. <laughs> <laughs> right, but well, look, good luck tomorrow. Um, round one, I'm going to ask 20 questions. Each worth one point, and the answers are then flung onto the answer board behind you, which, of course, you can't look at. All you need to do, I always smile when I say that, is remember those answers. Now, if you get a question wrong, it's going to be offered to the others. And at the end of the round, unfortunately, the lowest scorer has to leave us. So, are you ready? Let's play Perfect Recall. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. What was the surname of author Robert, who wrote A Man for All Seasons? Rocky. Frost. No. We'll fling it open. Robert. Nearly. <laughs> Robert Bolt. Five questions left. Which word can follow brief and suit to make two items, Rocky? Case. Case. Well done. Briefcase. Suitcase. The satirical magazine, edited by Ian Hislop since 1986, is called... Stuart. Oh, eh? No. It's called What I? And Simon got in first. Private. Private. Yes. That's just the drawback of sure. going a bit too early. It goes through New York State and is crossed by the George Washington Bridge. Rocky. Hudson. The Hudson. That's it. <laughs> Boy, are we in trouble now. We've got three who scored two. You're in the clear, Stuart. <laughs> so, it's a tie-break question, just for the three of you. Okay? Obviously, try and get it right if you will. And remember, the answer to the question already up there on the answer bank. The actress who played Penny Lane in the 2000 film Almost Famous was Kate who? Rocky. Hudson. Kate Hudson is correct. So that's Rocky's in, Stuart's in, and we'll have another tiebreak question. And this one is between Fenya and Simon. Good luck to both of you. In the 1957 film... Cary Grant and Deborah Carr had an what to remember? Okay, Venya. A fair. An affair to remember is correct. <laughs> well, that was a cliffhanger and a thriller, Deb. Unfortunately, Simon, you're the one who has to leave us. Oh, well, not to worry. But you'll take the sunshine with you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Congratulations again on that MBE. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. <laughs> Stuart, and all the answers you need are there on the old board behind you. Everyone can see it, except you three, I'm afraid. Now, you've got to rely on your memory uh, to recall the 20 answers. As before, the player with the lowest score will leave us, so I hope the old recall is razor sharp. So, let's find out. Let's play round two. In the 
1967 film, The Graduate. Stuart. Affair? No. What's the surname of the older woman played by Anne Bancroft? Rocky. Robinson. Yeah. Cook at you, Mrs. Robinson. A shed of... A shed... A shed of cells. A set of shelves to hold books is known as a book what? Stuart. Case. A bookcase. Of U.S. President Gerald Ford is known by which first name? Yes, Stuart. Betty. Betty Ford. She had the old clinic named after her. The 1997 Ben Affleck film is called Chasing Who? Okay, Rocky. Amy. Yeah, you're good on the movies. Chasing Amy. Everybody scored, and it's going to be a close one. I feel it in my water. Which name is an anagram of Alon? <laughs> I hate those questions. <laughs> hey, Logan, as in Johnny Logan, who did so well in the Eurovision for so many years. Goldie Horn starred as a high society widow who joins the army in the 1980 film. What? Stuart. Private. Private Benjamin is correct. The other Italian city. Okay. Three questions left, Rocky. It's now or never. Something or someone that breaks new ground is described as being on the what edge? Fenya. Cutting. On the cutting edge is correct. What's the surname of Dreamgirls actress Jennifer? Who won Rocky. Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. That's correct. The plant which bay leaves come from is also known by what name? Only one answer left up there. You didn't get it. Laurel. Laurel. End of the round. I was hoping against hope that you'd survive long enough to give us one of your Elvis Presley impersonations. But it's not to be. But we've been very glad to have you with us. Thank you very much. Thank Dave. you. Rocky Patel, ladies and gentlemen.